What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we're talking about Need for Speed No Limits. Now, this is a really, really weird one. I didn't think I was ever going to make a video about No Limits, but honestly, it's better than I anticipate. Now, I've been playing this pretty much all day. It obviously released today. If you downloaded it today, you got um, a few free cars and stuff. Um, it is free to play, so if you do want to go ahead and download it, um, you know, you just look on your app store or whatnot. It should be there. I know a few people had issues issues so if you are having issues make sure to message the team on Twitter I'll put their link down in the description but basically we're just gonna go ahead and talk about no limits I've been basically been playing it all day um, and I'm gonna share my opinions of what I think of the game so without further ado let's get straight into today's video okay so firstly I would like to say that I'm really not a mobile gamer um, in fact I could think you could argue that I just really really dislike mobile games generally I'm not big into it and I just yeah I'm just not really big into it um, now the phone I'm running this on is a HTC One Mate. Uh, that's M8. <laughs> um, so if that is any interest to you, you know now. Obviously, the graphics and stuff are a bit low res on the recording. That's just because I'm recording on my phone. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm recording on my HTC One, and it ran pretty much perfectly. Even when I was recording, I, I got maybe like one or two screen drops. But honestly, besides that, the recording was absolutely fine. The graphics, again, for a mobile game, look really, really nice. And the customization and car list are also pretty mad too um i've got to say they've done a pretty good job with you know how this game looks how it plays the progression you know the balance from free to play and microtransactions is also very well done obviously now i got the um the free car at the start because it's day one and you obviously get the brz if you sign up day one um, but honestly, like, it's not particularly hard to earn cars in this game. Obviously, yes, it is going to be slight, a slight bit of a grind because the day one thing, and you know, it's free to play and whatnot. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how they've kind of managed all that kind of stuff. Um, it, it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, it does take a while to get some of the parts. But for a free to play game, if you just want to play it every now and then, it's good. Like, really good. So, um, yeah, that's that for the actual kind of a free to play aspect of things. The gameplay, again, for a mobile game is very, very good. It's really easy to pick up. You just go around the corner, bang, uh, drift. You know, it's obviously got the very, very arcadey drifting handling model, which, again, is kind of to be expected. Um, but overall, it, yeah, it's really well done, really well versed. And you can see what changes they've made um, since, obviously, it was on soft launch. They've changed the menus around. They've changed the maps around. You know, the, the cities obviously look better. Um, there's a lot more tracks added into the the game a lot more cars added into the game and overall it's just a better experience now one thing I'd like to see I haven't stumbled across it so it might well be in there it's a multiplayer mode um, it'd be kind of cool to see pink slips and you know just generally playing against other people wages again and that'd be kind of cool to see um, and and maybe they could add that into the future but again it's only just properly launched so I'm not surprised that isn't in the release so far honestly besides that it's, there's nothing else to talk about personally like I said earlier on I'm not a mobile game if you aren't really into mobile games, but you like Need for Speed and you need some in um, before Need for Speed 2015 comes out, I highly, highly recommend trying this, especially as it's free. If you don't like it, you can just uninstall it. If you're watching this today and you know you think, oh, this game looks quite good, yeah, go ahead and download it. It's free. On day one, you're going to get some free cars and shit, so it's worth it. And I, I really can't think of any reason why you wouldn't try it. I mean, it's free. Just go ahead and do it. So if your phone is compatible, go ahead and do it. Um, if not, then I guess um, there's, there's there's certain ways you can get around it if you really, really want to play the game. But overall, I'm pretty impressed for a mobile game. It's done very well, and I can't wait to see what its bigger brother, Need for Speed 2015, does um, very, very soon. If you are a big fan of Need for Speed, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and peace.